Hey guys, what's up today? We got a triple integral. We're going to try to find the, the value of this integral over this region E that lies above the cone. Z equals square root of x squared plus y squared. And between the spheres, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1. And x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4. So we got a, a sphere of radius 2 right here and a sphere of radius 1. We want to be between those spheres and above this cone. So that looks like this region over here. Very interesting region. We got our bounds. We're going to try to figure out what our bounds are. So theta is always the bound that goes this way. Phi is always going to be this bound. So phi is going to go from 0 to this cone. And then rho is going to go from 1 out to 2. So rho is going to go from 1 to 2. Let's see how this happens. Just a few things to note. Z is equal to rho cosine phi. R from cylindrical coordinates is equal to rho sine phi, and R squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So that happens because x, x was equal to rho cosine theta, rho cosine theta sine phi, and y is equal to rho sine theta sine phi. So when you square those and add them together, this cosine squared plus sine squared, you factor out the rho squared sine squared phi, and you'll get rho squared sine squared phi times cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is just 1. So this is equal to rho squared sine squared phi. That tells us that r is equal to rho sine phi, so that kind of justifies this discussion up here. So let's get to the solution, get our bounds. So phi is going to go from the z-axis down to the cone. So 0 less than or equal to phi, less than or equal to the cone, right? And rho is pretty easy because we're between two spheres centered at the origin. Rho is going to go from 1 to the second radius, which is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. So then theta is going all the way around the z-axis, so it's an easy target. It's easy, two, 0 to 2 pi. So all I got to do is figure out what this cone equation is in terms of phi. So figure out what this cone equation is. So the cone was z equals square root of x squared plus y squared. So square root of x squared plus y squared was the cone equation. So that's actually just r. So z equals r is the same thing as saying rho cosine phi equals rho sine phi. All right, so if we have this relationship, then we could say that 1 would be equal to tangent phi. So 1 equals tangent phi. Well, that tells us that phi equals pi over 4, or phi equals 3 pi over 4, or negative pi over 4. But we'll say 3 pi over 4 because phi is between 0 and pi. Well, we know that the one going up is pi over 4. So the one going up like this is pi over 4. So our bounds for phi are 0 to pi over 4. So the cone is actually pi over 4. So now we've got our bounds, we can set up the triple integral. So the triple integral becomes 0 to 2 pi for theta, 0 to pi over 4 for phi, and 1 to 2 for rho. And then our integrand was square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, which is really just rho. And then dv becomes rho squared sine phi. And then d rho, d phi, d theta. All right. We can do our trick that we like to do. We can pull the d theta over here with the integral 0 to 2 pi, because this is a nice product of integrands. We can get 2 pi automatically from that integral. And then integral 0 to pi over 4, sine of phi, d phi. And then integral 1 to 2, rho cubed, d rho. So this becomes 2 pi times negative cosine of phi going from 0 to pi over 4 times rho to the 4 over 4 from 1 to 2. So this is going to be 2 pi times negative square root of 2 
plus cosine of zero, which is one. And then rho cubed, or sorry, rho to the four, and we plug in two, that's going to be two to the four, which is 16. So that's 16 minus, and then plug in one, we get one over four. So that's 15 over four. So this two and this four can kind of reduce. So two is going to cancel. Leaves us with a two down there. So this is going to equal 15 pi over two times one minus square root of two over two. And that is going to be our answer. So that's the value of the triple integral. That's how we do it.